Hello and welcome to Library Drawing Party. Today we're going to be drawing these beautiful barn doors. I'm going to be using my rainbow watercolor set and my watercolor pencils. To get started, I'm going to be using my dark brown to outline the barn doors. You can use a ruler for this if you like, but since the barn doors are old and most likely warped, I'm just going to be drawing it freehand. So you're going to draw your center where the barn doors meet and then there's going to be a series of triangles. So you want this to be about a quarter of an inch or half an inch from the barn door. You just want to make sure that you're consistent. You want all the triangles to be about the same size. So right now I'm drawing triangles facing the right hand side. And then I'm going to repeat that pattern but going the opposite direction on the left hand side. Now this you will want to do with colored pencils at home first. Then I'm going to draw the top triangles, keeping about that same distance. You want to keep them about the same size as the triangles that we just drew. And then you want the triangles to be level. So this should be a relatively straight line. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, these are going to be distressed doors anyway. But we want to have it about the same. And I'm going to draw the bottom triangles, which should be about the same as the top triangles, they should be mirroring each other. And this should be aligned as well. And then let's draw the center triangles. Again, these should be mirroring the top and bottom triangles. And we want these triangles to be lining up with the points of the first triangles that we drew. And it's okay if you see some of the extra markings, that'll just go with the wood grain. Okay, and then let's draw the bottom of the door. And 
And don't worry about this line going into the crown. It's going to be brown anyway, so that'll blend right in. And then there's going to be top of the door. And then right in the center is this little extra detail with two diagonal lines and a straight line. And then there's another beam above the doors. And we want to draw the edges. Now you have your barn doors. Now, if you're using color pencils and watercolors at home, not watercolor pencils, you're going to want to make sure you do this step first with color pencils, then the rest of it we can be doing with watercolor and then putting a layer of color pencils on over top. Now, let's take our sandy color and add in some extra color to the inside of the triangles this will help give it some depth and the sandy color will help make it rustic Look like they've been there for quite some time. Let's put a little bit by the beam, and by this decoration, and some by the base of the door. And then I'm going to add in some wood grain texture. I want some horizontal lines and some vertical lines. Let's take that dark brown and add in some more wood grain. Let's add in our beams. You can see the boards through. The triangles. And this doesn't have to be perfect because these would be old boards. And they're going to be a little natural shaped. But we do want the lines to continue through. So they look like continuous boards. Okay, once you have your barn doors drawn, then this is the step where you're going to want to do your watercolor first and then add your color pencil. But because I'm using the watercolor pencils. I'm going to be doing my pencil work first 
I'm going to take that sandy color and I'm going to start to draw in some straight lines going up and down. And these are going to be the rusted siding of the barn. And I'm going to take my reddish brown and add in some more lines on both sides. And I'm going to take my green to start with the rust. I'm going to add that in patches. So help bring in some color. This drawing is all about texture. Then I'm going to take my blue to really bring out that rust, which makes this beautiful blue green color. And we have the texture of the rusted boards and the distressed barn doors. I'm going to take the, I guess you could say it's a copper brown, and that's where we're getting this rust from. I'm going to really bring that out now. I don't want to blend everything together because I want to make sure we're keeping these lines. Put a couple more highlights of that sandy color in. Now, what's hanging above the barn doors is Spanish moss. And to get Spanish moss, we're going to want a really dry brush, so we should work on that next, and then we'll work on the rest of the drawing because that's pretty wet watercolors. So I'm going to get my brush wet and you can use some scrap paper to wipe some of the water off. And then I'm going to take some green, some blue, some purple, some brown and a little bit of yellow. I'm going to do some more of that because you're going to want a decent amount of pigment. And when you mix that together, you get this nice gray color. So it's gray with a greenish tint. That's what we're going to be using for our Spanish moss. So for the Spanish moss, I'm going to be using my thick watercolor brush. And I'm going to be just dragging the dry brush down. And you want to keep these lines. And you can add some side lines for extra texture. And then go back down and add in some more. Your brush needs to be really dry for this. Which is why we're working on this first. And you can see that it's green. It definitely looks like Spanish moss. But 
It's definitely got that gray tint to it. I'm gonna pull it down even more over here. It's hanging over the barn doors like it hasn't been used in many years. Once you're happy with your Spanish moss, then we can use some of that color. The grass. While your brush is still pretty dry, you can add in a bit of grass color. Let's wet our brush and blend our watercolor and pencil colors together. So you see, you get all of these different lines and colors and they all but they all mix together. I'm gonna use some of that color that we just created for our grass. I'm gonna have that go all the way up to the barn doors. And then I'm going to take my brown and add in some dirt below. You can see how that gray green color is mixing in with the brown, giving us some nice dimension. Now this next step is very messy. You may want to wear an apron and make sure that your area is clean and that you can get a little splatter because we're going to be doing a splatter paint technique. You want your brush to be really wet. We're still gonna be using this thick brush. Now roll up your sleeves and then get the brown pigment on your brush and then you just flick it and it's okay if it goes on the barn doors it just looks like some dirt got onto the doors now you can see my paper is really wet so even though we just did the splatter technique it's just blending in and dripping down so i'm going to wait until it dries off a bit more before I add in any more splatter paint. Another technique you can try is using your tissue or a sponge and just sponge the painting. This can give you some fun textures. Okay, so our paint has dried a bit. So I'm gonna splatter. So you just flick the paint from your brush on to the paper. And if you don't have a wide brush, you can do this with a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, just make sure it's clean. This is a really great way to add that dirt texture. So I'm using brown right now. But you can also add in some black. You may need to wet your brush. And try to aim it 
where you want the paint to go. But it's definitely not an exact science. I'm going to do some orange. Once you have your splatter paint, we'll make sure you add in the base of the Barn. You can also do some stippling by just dotting the page. Okay, once you have your dirt drawn, you can use your watercolor pencil or wait until this dries and use a regular color pencil to add in some grass. I'm using a yellow green right now. If you're using the watercolor pencil, the lines are going to expand a little bit as the pencil gets wet from the canvas, which can create a nice effect. I'm going to use some dark green too. And then finally, let's take our dark brown. And color in this top section. Well, be careful you don't lose your lines, though. Use additional color sparingly. You can add in some water too. You can mix some of that color in with the Spanish moss. And there you have it. That's our barn door. Thank you for joining us in this week's library drawing party. We hope to see you again next week. We have library drawing parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And keep being creative.